at Moms Behaving Badly on Instagram because that is my life now. <laughs> um, and they posted, Moms, give one piece of advice to new moms or moms-to-be, something you wish someone would have told you. And I started reading through the comments, and I'm like, damn, these are good. Like, we're going to share these. And if you are um, a, a mom and would like to share any tips or advice you have learned since becoming a mom to any new moms or moms-to-be, one 855 bird show 855-237-8746. Would love to have your insight. So the one that has the most likes so far on this post, ask people to take photos of you and baby. Moms often get left out of photos. Even if the baby's ugly? <laughs> yes. <even> if- <laughs> what if the mom's ugly? Both need to have photos of their ugliness. Yes. <laughs> Photoshop exists. It does. Listen, it was a rough time right after that C-section, okay? <laughs> and you cut her some slack. No, it's so true. And I mean, we, we joke about this, and I have even talked about this before on the air, like asking men to take the photo. Like, I shouldn't have to add, like, just no. if you see something cute, if you no. see something sweet happening, take the photo. Because I have so many videos and photos of my son and my husband being Ugh. adorable, and I got jack squat of me. I concur with you that photos should be taken, but if your man is trying to take photos, you can't look at the picture and go, oh, don't take it that way. Um, yes, the lighting can. is bad. Facts. Can't retake it. I've been yelled at for taking photos before. How many times, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, you can because you can do better. Not for random <laughs> girlfriend photos, but for the baby. There are now photographers that will teach husbands how to, and, and some wives how to take appropriate photos of a woman with their her kid because every Father's Day, my husband gets a full photo album of the most beautiful photos I have taken of him and our children. Well, yeah. On my phone, so not like right. professional. And then I have one. Well, you should take those photo. pictures. You're the woman. Oh, uh, well, that's, <laughs> that's what happens. So he's got... Read it in the Bible. <laughs> yeah, he's got four years right there, line five in Exodus. It says, must give husband photo albums of child. You get one if you're lucky. <laughs> I think I remember that yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, next is pee before going into their room in the middle of the night because you never mm-hmm. know how long you're going to be there. Mm. You don't know what's going to what's it going to take mm. the baby back to sleep. So mo- make sure you go ahead and like c- cleanse the bladder and then go in there. Um, next, the best and most freeing advice my mom gave me was, "I wish I played with you more and cleaned less." Mm, yeah, you do get so caught up. Mm. Did, I'm sure that there was a time both of you guys went through this where. There's a tipping point where at the end of the day where you are doing nothing except cleaning up after your kid. They do something, they make it dirty, then you're cleaning up, and 30 seconds later, it's a mess again, and you're doing that all day, and one day you just decide, like, I'm waiting till the end of the day to do this. Like, I, I'm going to go hang out. My Our playroom is a disaster right now, and I even have posted videos from us in there, and I, as I'm, like, recording the video, absorbing my son's cuteness, I'm also like, my, this place hmm. is a pigsty, and then I'm like... We're having fun. Yeah. And what? you're also like, Bart will, Gar- Bart will clean it up. He doesn't. I, t- I take care of the playroom. Thank you very much. Um, next, uh, don't let your kids get hamsters. That one got a lot of likes. Mm-hmm. I had a hamster, and it was a lovely experience until it died. Yeah, exactly. Did they, you soon have 30 after you had one? Because no. even one, for whatever reason, can multiply. I had one. Her name was Carrot, and she was lovely. Carrot? Mm-hmm. Carrot. Carrot. I don't know what. I think because we had a, a class hamster, and it was, name was, its name was Peanut. And so I thought, because, you know, you're five years old, you don't know much about the world you just think oh you have a pet you name it after a food item so i was like carrot (laughs) did not do a hamster we had Mm -hmm. two one multiplied then ate its babies and the other one got lost in the house and we couldn't get him out agreed it had the same problem (laughs) yeah um another one that got a tremendous amount of likes from at mom's behaving badly do what works for you and your family also fed is best i don't think we could say that enough on this show I was like, bless this woman for posting this. This one got a ton of likes. It's okay to not be productive during their naps. Like, Mm. you don't have to, like, in that time, feel like you have to get everything done. (laughs) You can have some downtime for yourself if you want to. That's okay. I would say come up with a game plan, though, because this happened to me the other day, and I spent at least half the nap time trying to figure out what I was supposed to be doing. 
Should I be cleaning? Should I be oh. reading? Should I be napping? Should I be taking a bath? So figure out what you want to do before the nap. I remember that unknown sprint time. Like as soon as they go down, you have like, what, an hour to get everything done. And then when you hear them crying early, oh. it's so irritating. Oh Your kid is God. irritated just because it woke up. The sinking <laughs> feeling. And you're like, no. No. <laughs> you still have an hour and a half. Um, get zippers, not snaps. I don't even understand why they make onesies with snaps. Don't do it. Preach. Zippers are the way to go. Mother's tuition is a thing. Don't ignore it. You will never regret too much snuggling with your kids. It will not spoil them. Preach on that. I let Jimmy nap on me when he was a baby. Mm -hmm. We snuggled constantly. I held him a lot. And he sleeps in his own bed, perfectly independent. There is nothing wrong with taking advantage of when they were teeny tiny Mm because it goes by so fast. This one's really, really good. It is okay to feel two polarizing emotions at once. You can grieve your old life while loving the heck out of that sweet baby. Because I know so many moms go through this. Postpartum depression is common and should be talked about more. Do not be afraid to ask for help or say something feels overwhelming. I would add to that, too, if I can. Tell your partner to look out for it because you might be in the thick of it and not even realize what's happening and you'll get to a breaking point where you're like, this is not my life. This is not what I signed Mm -hmm. up for. And you will think it's the baby and it's your hormones. And sometimes you need a partner to see that in you and make you go get help. And then most importantly, do dishes and laundry when the baby does dishes and laundry. Hope this helps. (laughs) (laughs) Everybody always says sleeps when the baby sleeps. That doesn't. (laughs) What you got, Liz? It feels like it's a season you're never going to be out of, but you will. It will pass, and you will be so glad uh, when those sleepless nights are over, and you will look back on them and laugh with your partner. But for now, just know that it is a season that you will not be in forever, and you'll be happier uh, when it when it does pass. That's great advice for any stress. You always feel like this is going to be the this is it for the rest of my life like this, mm. and you forget it's just temporary. Sometimes temporary lasts a long time, though. (laughs) (laughs) Like 18 years. (laughs) The Burt Show.